sway bar off. I just took the ball joint off for the steering because I have to change that bellows there that leaks oil. And the shock is like half taken out. We gotta cut this top off. Um, and I was about to start taking the ball joints out, but I noticed that these are not nuts and bolts that hold it in. They're they're rivets. Um, which would mean I'd have to take everything out and grind them out or drill them out something and I just don't have the money to buy all the bushings right now I do have the springs and the shocks and the bellows and the ball joints but I think we're gonna forego those for a while so I can do it when I'm less rushed more time and more money so let's get the bellows on there put the tie rod back together we're not going to have a sway bar a sway bar because of these things are not possible to find the ones i looked at in the junkyard look like they're going to break off the same as that so we'll make that a next year problem so let's get that bellows changed out all right well this is the old one you can see it's blown out and this is the new one uh, it's too small I can't get that stretched over it I mean this end is too small but I forced it uh, so the original grade is junk um, I don't know thinking about cutting this small end off and like using that first rib to clamp around it's kind of it's kind of longer anyway it might work so we'll be back after a few more curse words Managed to get it on there. I reused all the original clampage. Um, this end was pretty tricky to get it to bite on what, whatever was left of, my, of the rubber there that I cut off. So the kit sends you little freaking zip ties to keep that on there. And look how tiny this one is. <laughs> Whatever. China. China don't care. So I want to get this out. I'm gonna try to use try to use this ball joint tool to try to press this bolt out. It's seized in there. So see if we can do that. Okay. Just no way. I got no room to get it in there. It doesn't reach with the rest of the rubber still there. And what I'd like to do is use it to get good ones off so I can replace it. But that's just not gonna happen. It's gonna have to be gonna have to be the project when all this comes out and I can put it in a vise and beat the ever living hell out of it. Okay, so we got the new shock absorber in. KYB, gas adjust. I think the next thing we have to do, I think I'm gonna put that dust shield on, but I'm gonna cut it down just to be um, a bearing protector. It has like a collar on it to protect the bearing. But also, we need to do something here. The brake rotor rubs on that, right? More on the other side than this side, but I don't know. Maybe beat it with a hammer or something, but I suppose we can take this jack out of here now that I got the, I 
got the shock absorber in. And maybe we'll get the BFH and beat that a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the brake disc shield or guard or whatever you want to call it. Scraped off most of the gunk around here. Looks like I missed a spot here. Um, thinking, looks like the new rotor kind of starts rubbing around here. I think we're going to trim it about like this all the way around. And bolt back on. Not even going to paint it. Alright, we got the shield cut down to a nice miniature size. That goes like that. Let's get, get a bolt in here. Another bolt. Alright, looks like it was made that way, with rust and patina, all in the right spots. So I'll get that buttoned up and we'll be back. Alright, didn't get a lot done this weekend. Uh, got the side all put back together. I don't have the nut torqued down and cotter pin put in, so don't let me forget to do that. Brakes hooked back up. I uh, did a little hammer massaging on on the um, lower control arm. Let's see if I can get a shot of that here. Right up in right up in here, so we got more clearance. So the new shock is in the new steering boot. Um, I'm gonna have to try to get some grease in here. So, I don't want to say I'm cutting corners, but I'm only can, doing what I can get done with the time and funds I got. So, I got this side taken apart. A little rain guard on the spindle here. We didn't do any taking apart of the brake line on this side, and we're leaving this on. Um, I just realized that there's like a little paper gasket there. So we're not touching that. But I took off the dust shield. So we'll cut that down like the other side. And we gotta pound this lip over a little bit. Um, the steering boot is fine on the side. So basically all we have to do is get the shock out, which is going to be a challenge in itself and I don't know that we're gonna get any um, sway bar end links anytime soon so that's gonna stay the way it is and it'll be a next year problem okay we got the passenger side new shock absorber in Brake caliper is zip tied up in here so it don't fall out. Um, we still have to beat down that lip right there. And here's the old shock. Kind of took the easy way out. It was starting to thread off, but decided to suicide. So that worked out. I had trouble getting the bottom bolt out. Ended up using the hammer. Dinged up here a little bit. But it worked out. So we just gotta get that dust shield trimmed up, put that back on after we pound out that lip. But it's a weekday. I think that's a tomorrow project.